In this video, I'll be showing you an overview of the Shibi Tomato Variant web interface and features. In here, you basically have your model, which will be my ASUS RTN N16 and its uh, processor, uh, flash RAM, and also total amount of memory being used. I will. Uh, it also has listed in here the currently active and plugged in devices. I have my computer, which is LAN 2, and my internet coming in. Under device list, you basically have your devices plugged in via IP or uh, currently physically. Um, in here you'll have, uh, this is going to be my internet, the VLAN 2, your BRO, which is actually wired ethernet devices, and then you'll have e e ETH devices, which will be your wireless or depending on how you have it configured on your uh, settings. In here you have web monitoring. With this you could uh, create the capability to view, um, search results, stuff like that, that are uh, on your current network. Your logs, which are basically the kernel logs, um, they break down to pretty much everything possible if you ever want to look into those. They're a lot more sophisticated though. Uh, you have your real-time uh, monitoring. Um, you basically, uh, each device is broken down in here, uh, either your VLAN, your wired devices, your wireless. Uh, you can break it down to real-time all the way down to monthly and how much bandwidth you're being used. Uh, if you want to break it down a little bit more though, you could do IP traffic, which is basically uh, broken down to every single IP assigned to this router. And the same exact thing, real-time to all the way down to uh, monthly. Uh, you basically have your uh, your tool sets in here, simple things to make sure your network is working the way it's supposed to, and you can get out and trace wherever you need to. Bypass your computer and make sure it's the uh, router that's the issue. Um, in here you uh, have your basic settings in for your uh, router, which you could create a wireless filter. Uh, in here you could create a, a static assign uh, DHCP broadcast. It'll assign an IP address per MAC address, so whenever it does receive a broadcast, it'll always get that specific address. Uh, your your network overview, and here you could create different um, bridge Ethernet to VLANs to uh, with different settings. You could have one, you know, have a DHCP broadcast. You could have another one that doesn't have it. You could set your current range, your um, your least time, um, and down below you could create your own wireless device and its um, encryption methods if you want to use AES or something, um, you know, WPA, whatever you want to use for that. Under advanced you have your more advanced wireless settings in here. This will, uh, if you tinker around with this, you get a little more capability specifically for how your uh, wireless device is designed. You could also increase your transmit power if you need to. Uh, virtual wireless, which is a newer feature in both uh, the Shibi build and then also some of the other Toastman builds I've seen. Uh, this will uh, give you capability to create additional SSIDs on the same exact wireless device and you could actually pipe that to a different VLAN. So you could have your um, guest account as a separate wireless um, device that's not encrypted, but it won't be interfering with your current VLAN and can't see the traffic that you're using. And then you have various other settings in here, like your VLAN. You could create your VLAN. You could tag it per uh, each port. And here we have uh, your port forwarding settings. You could enable UPnP and allow the uh, certain applications create their own port forwarding rules. If you understand how security works, you probably want to keep this un unchecked and disabled. You can also have your basic port forwarding rules, uh, assign an IP address to what port to be viewed outside your network. Uh, this will be my Xbox. And here you have your access restriction. Uh, you could actually set um, what could be viewed at what time, and this is mostly IP and URL based. Your quality of service, the good stuff that's in this uh, tomato variant build. Uh, you basically have uh, your custom classifications down to you know ever everything you want and here's the cool part is the on-the-fly graphs of basically what's being currently used 
So if you're using more voice over IP or if you're using more, um, you know, uh, SMTP mail, whatever you want, you could actually create your own graph and view it on the fly. A bandwidth limiter, you could set an IP or an IP range of basically what's being able to hit a, you know, kind of a, a cap, so to speak, with your bandwidth per day, whatever you want. Captive portal, you could actually create a um, simple captive portal. It's not anything sophisticated. It's not an Apache web server. I forget what type of web server they use, but it'll basically be an uh, simple image URL that once you access your router, it says, hey, um, I know you're using this internet. Click here to agree and continue on. Nothing that you could use, you know, as fancy scripts that you see at, um, you know, the place like McDonald's where you have to log in and put your email on this. It's mostly just to, you know, click agree and carry on. USB support, you basically have uh, different USB support. You could do um, file, just a simple uh, file storage. Um, you could also do uh, USB support or even a 3G modem. It does have a good support for various 3G modem devices, so you could actually use this entire router as a 3G hotspot. With the uh, file serving, you could actually, or whatever device you plug it in there, USB uh, flash drive or external hard drive, you could create an FTP server, um, a file share server, which could which is going to be a Samba, so just a Windows CIFS share. Your media server, which is a newer feature in this Shibby build, a DLNA server, so you actually stream things from your TV to it. US UPS monitoring, um, you can actually monitor your battery bandwidth and you can set rules if you want to say, hey, the battery died, send out an email. Um, you also have your VPN um, capability on this. You could create both a client and a server. So you can encrypt traffic between this and another location throughout the internet. That's just a quick overview. Uh, if you want, go ahead and install the uh, firmware yourself and uh, give it a try.